Hello beautiful Libra and welcome to your mid-month August reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. I am a tarot and oracle reader as well as a root worker. Please keep in mind Libra that this is a general reading so not all messages will resonate for every single Libra out there. Um, if for some reason these messages do not resonate and you still want some clarity on anything in your life right now, you can always contact me and schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me. So with that in mind, please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I'm going to go ahead and get started doing things a little differently this time. I'm going to start off with the tea leaf deck. Okay, let's see here. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras for mid-month of August? What messages do you have for Libra for the mid-month of August or the rest of August? Oh, okay, there we go. All right, Libra, we got a couple cards here. All right, let's see. Okay, we got four cards here. So I'm gonna go over these cards each individually. I'm gonna clarify them with the tarot deck and another deck that I have. So let's start off with this first one. You actually got a month the month of January. Okay, so this could have to do with something that happened this past January or something that will be coming up or finalizing in the month of January. You also have the stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Okay. And then we have teardrops, great personal sorrow. Okay, Libras. And the last one, you got the elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. That's an interesting one. Okay, let's start with the month of January and see what messages we can get about this card. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Libras regarding the month of January? What messages do you have for my Libras regarding the month of January? Okay. Queen of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Swords reversed, and the King of Wands. Wow. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm getting something new in terms of stability for you. Maybe a new home, a new job. That came up here. New business opportunity. Okay, so specifically with this Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, this definitely feels like a new opportunity for you coming in. Um, the card at the bottom of the deck talks about things outside of ourselves, things that we can't control that is affecting the situation. So definitely something new coming in here. Let me show you these three cards. These are really interesting. We have three court cards, which is extremely rare. Extremely rare for me. So Queen of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Swords reversed, and the King of Wands. Okay, this could talk about people, this could talk about a situation. Um, you, Libra, being a air sign, I feel like this Queen of Swords could refer to you because the Queen of Swords is um, associated with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This doesn't have to be you. This is just a really, really interesting situation we have going on here. Oh, okay. Libra, I'm not sure if you have been in a space where you feel a little out of control emotionally and stability wise. I don't know if you are going through a situation where you're either out of a job or you are in a job that you don't particularly enjoy being at um it kind of it feels like it has you at your wits end with these two queens in reverse pentacles usually talk about um our stability so this can talk about money home life um diet health and then the swords usually represent um communication and thoughts so it feels like with these two in the reverse, either you're not taking care of yourself, you are thinking or reacting to things a little bit more emotionally instead of logically. 
um, which is probably something that is not typical for you. Uh, my air signs tend to be very much logical people, very intellectual people. So for you to not be in a space where you are thinking clearly can be a problem. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. I do see that there is a drive here to move forward. There's a vision of something better out there. But this King of Wands, there's something out there that's, there's something in you that's leading you or pushing you to look for more or to strive for more. Okay. Um, you may be in a place where you are, gosh, this is really heavy, but um, it feels like nothing is on your side right now, but there's something in you that's saying, keep going, keep going. I know there's something better on the horizon and that may just be what's coming for you in the month of January, okay? If you can hold your vision, if you can continue to keep going on the path that you're going, there is something coming in for you. There is an opportunity for you, okay? Look at that, underneath the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Cups right underneath it. Good news, some great news coming in. Whew. All right, Libras, that is what I'm seeing for this January um, post here. So I'm not sure if this is work related for you or health related for you. Um, for those of you who are trying to get pregnant, health could be a big um, component to um, conceiving. So keep that in mind if you are struggling to maintain your health right now or there's a lot of emotional things coming up that is um, hard for you to kind of you know, keep yourself on track health-wise, that is also coming through. Um, just remember to hold your vision, stay diligent, and um, you can possibly see some big results coming for you in January. Okay, let's move on to the stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Spirit, can we please clarify the stork? That's way too many cards. Can we please clarify the stork? What does the stork mean for the Libras? What does the stork mean for the Libras? <laughs> That's way too many. Okay, what does the stork mean for the Libras? What does the stork mean for the Libras? What does the stork mean for the Libras? Okay, we got the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. This is definitely tied into January. I even shuffled the deck to make sure we didn't get any repeat cards and we still ended up with the Ace of Pentacles and that Knight of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the World card. This is beautiful. Um, Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Let me just show you these cards really quickly. All upright, all beautiful. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is the coming together of two genuinely happy souls or energies, entities, however you want to call it, whether this is a, a business opportunity, like I said, um, where maybe you connect with someone that just you really vibe with and they seem like they'd either be a good partner or a good um, facilitator for your business um, idea. It could also be um, a job that comes into your life. It's a really great position. It's a really great um, group of people that you'd be working with. And this feels like a really great place that you can call home in terms of your career. For some of you, this really talks about um, getting pregnant. Like things are just going really, really well. You get some really great news here with this Knight of Cups. You got the World card at the bottom of the deck. It just feels like everything that you've experienced or you will be experiencing um, now until possibly January. It just feels like all of that is gonna be kind of wrapped up and left behind. That part of your journey will be over and you'll be moving into something absolutely beautiful, much more stable feeling. 
Um, as long as you nurture that energy, it will come. Okay, so remember, hold your vision and um, stay hopeful. Try to stay as grounded as possible as well. That is beautiful. Please let me know what this is about, my Libras. If this is resonating for you, please let me know what this is about. I would love to hear um, some good news from you guys. And just shuffle these up. Make sure there's no repeats. Okay, let's move on to the teardrops. Great personal sorrow. All right, let's see what this is about. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras regarding these teardrops? Okay, we got the chariot, the eight of swords reversed, and the world card. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the six of wands. Very interesting. An interesting combination here. Let me just show you your cards. We got the Chariot, Eight of Swords reversed, and the World card. Okay. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. Very interesting. This is really, really interesting to me because none of these cards, and even this one here in the reverse, doesn't speak to me about negative things. So, let's see what I can pick up here. Give me one second, Libras. Mm. Okay, Libras. I think I'm starting to get a little bit of a picture here. Now remember that this may not resonate for everybody, but what I am seeing here, particularly with the Six of Wands, was someone came in, and look at this, underneath the Six of Wands, we have the Tower card. Someone came into your life um, and brought absolute destruction with them. And it was all specifically in their favor and not in your favor. Oh, the poor baby. Okay, sorry about that, Libras. So I feel like someone came in and they just tore down something major in your life. I am getting the sense of home I don't know if this was an eviction. I know a lot of people are being or have been evicted over the last year or so because of COVID and not being not there they're not being enough work or income coming in for a lot of people. I don't know if that's resonating with you, but it does feel like someone came in with the intent of completely um, just destroying a particular part of your life. I don't know if this is tying into these as well um but it was like a full full-on attack it just feels like there was a full-blown attack it forced you to either have to leave a situation walk away from a situation and um wow it's just oh my gosh with the world card here i am getting the sense that this is possibly due to the situations we've had with coronavirus because, I mean, the, this is something that's impacting a lot of people around the world, possibly. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to use this other deck. Let's see. Okay, let me use this deck here. This time to see where this could possibly be happening for you. Spirit, what messages do you have? Okay, there's a Pisces involved, possibly. I don't know if this is someone you know personally, or I don't know if this is maybe a boss. Oh, you got Saturn at the bottom of the deck. The planet of wisdom, discipline, structure, responsibility, self-control, maturity, Hmm. This is probably testing you in terms of your stability. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wherever you find the most structure in your life, this is probably where it took place. Okay. I would look to see where Saturn falls in your chart or where Saturn is right now at the moment. I can't seem to remember where exactly it is right now. Um... 
but hopefully the Pisces will help a little bit to kind of tune in to who this may be about. Um, this Eight of Swords is really interesting because it's in the reverse and it usually talks about being uh, mentally released from mental stagnation or feeling trapped or unable to move. So for some of you, this may be a job as well. This may be a job. This may also have to do with someone very close to you. This may have happened to someone very close to you. You may have had to pick up and move to be close to this person in order to help them as well. Okay. I feel like some of you had to come to somebody's aid. Okay. I feel like this had to you had to go somewhere. You had to move. Some of you may have had to pick up and move either back home or to a place where you're closer to family. For some of you in order to take care of whatever this is. This may not even have impacted you specifically. It may have affected somebody else that you know and you had to go help or assist them with that. Okay, maybe the person you are moving to is a Pisces or moving closer to is a Pisces. So again, take what resonates my Libras. Excuse me. All right, let's move on to this final card here, the elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Let me just uh, shuffle these up a little bit. Let me shuffle these up a little bit. Okay, Spirit. What message do you have regarding this elephant for my Libras? What message do you have regarding this elephant for my Libras? Page of Pentacles reversed, Six of Swords reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, and then the Wheel of Fortune reversed at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Page of Pentacles, Six of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay. A lot of stability related here. I do feel like this is a whole story. This isn't this doesn't feel disjointed. So what I've said for January, I feel like ties in with all three of these other cards because we had the Queen of Pentacles come back from the month of January. Um at the bottom of the deck again, you have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This definitely feels like kind of like a twist of fate. Um, this was really just something out of your control. And I do feel like a lot of you had to move a pretty far distance recently. I feel like a lot of you had to make a move either to assist somebody or to kind of save yourself, if that makes sense. Um, again, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is here. I do feel like this is, someone's stability has really been rocked. I don't know if they were displaced, removed from their home, evicted, whatever the case may be. Um, but it, it just feels like, <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm getting two different people here. I have somebody who was just starting out in life Possibly you, someone who may have had to move home to assist someone, possibly a mother figure, if a mother figure was displaced or um, affected health-wise and you had to move home to be with them, or maybe one of your children came back home to move in with you to take care of you, please take what resonates. But I'm definitely seeing a younger energy and older energy, and again, like a parent figure. Um, someone, like I said, they may have moved just at the beginning or start of their adult life. So this is someone who could have been in college anywhere probably between like 18 to, I don't know, 24, 25. 
pretty young. Um, it just, it feels like you two needed each other in some way. I feel like both people were not doing well or things were not, again, just moving forward in your favor. And a lot of people have been experiencing that again this year. So if this is resonating for you, um, it makes complete sense given everything that has happened recently around the world. Um, Six of Swords reversed this does talk about, funny enough, it talks about moving forward when it's in the upright, but in the reverse, it feels like your growth and your movement forward, again, was just, it was hindered. It was put on pause. So, hopefully with the stork energy that we saw earlier, that will kind of turn around for you guys by January. Let me just shuffle these up a little bit. Shuffle these up a little bit, okay. Spirit, what messages do you have regarding this situation for the Libras? Any additional information for the Libras? Any additional information for the Libras? We got Aries. There could be an Aries in your midst as well. I would also look to see where Aries is in your chart or where Pisces is in your chart because that came up. Okay, well at the bottom of the deck we got the ninth house of seeking. So the ninth house is typically associated with Sagittarius. This talks about, um, the ninth house usually talks about expansion, um, spiritual learning, travel, adventure, higher education, beliefs, faith, spiritual quests, religion, gurus, pilgrimages, okay? So maybe you have Aries in the ninth house, maybe you have Pisces in the ninth house. Either way, this is, Kind of hindered your growth in terms of things happening in your ninth house. This is going to be mm, actually that's very interesting. So you could be seeing some changes in terms of your movement for some of you by January. I don't know if you'll be getting an opportunity to have a job that allows you to move around and travel and explore. Or for some of you, moving back home was something was something that you needed to learn in terms of ninth house energy. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm. <laughs> okay, very interesting. We did get the world card that came up as well. And the world card can also talk about travel. So what's interesting is the six of swords in reverse. There's a bit of a blockage here, but it says there's a long journey. The elephant says there's a long journey, either physical or mental. I'll leave you wiser at the end. That's big ninth house energy. That is big ninth house energy. So I don't know if this journey will be coming up for you in January, if that's when this blockage is gonna finally be kind of lifted in a sense. It'd be very interesting. <laughs> that would be very interesting. Okay, my Libras, that is what I'm seeing for you. Please leave a like, leave a comment if this resonated for you. Again, if you'd like to schedule a personal reading with me, you can do so by going down to my website, which is linked below in the description box. If you'd also like to um, check in with me on my other socials like Instagram and TikTok, that's below in the description box as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.